She discusses on ecological relationship. Do you still have any question on the topic of ecological relationship? Sir? What is in the screen? I see a child holding a pencil. Yes, a child is holding a pencil. And technically, what kind of child is that? Uh, is he schooling or not? I think he is schooling. Okay, that is a student. Okay. Now, a student, what? A plant Very good, that is a plant. And also your answer, Maria Adore, is also correct. But your answer is in the second question. What is the name of the plant? Okay, that is a gumamela. And what do you think the plant wants to be able to identify the biotic factors in the ecosystem?
The word at the Between a minimum and maximum range of temperature, their surface is different. Away from others of the same species, one common reason why the organism dispersed is to find new <coughs> habitats, rich in needed resources. Strong winds can also destroy things in many places. Okay, so that is one of the advantage of the wind. This uh, the flying organism can use this in order to uh, migrate to other places, and also we can. Uh, devastate or damage some habitats of organisms. Okay, is that clear? Yes. So all of the biotic factors are clear? Yes. So yes. let's have some and uh, recall that an exercise of mind. Okay, can you solve this? Jason is planning to plant a hibiscus rosa sinensis or common known as Humanella. So that for me, what is the missing abiotic factor that he needed given the equation x squared is equal to 10 plus 15? Now if your answer is so, it means you need water. 5 is soil, 10 is weight, and 25 is light. Show your solution on the board. Okay. Jumel, can you answer? <laughs> okay, by the way, what kind of equation is this? Is this a linear or quadratic oh, equation? What? And x plus b, y minus 4, a, 2, 7. The answer is 15. We made it by x squared. We made it by x squared. Both sides. 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 Both Okay, okay. 
Well, I think you are not listening to your math teacher how to solve the quadratic equation. Okay, 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 Without air, plants, animals, and humans will not survive. Then, Yes, so you are right. If there, then nature will be uh, changed just like for that. And because of the global warming, it will affect all the polar bears. It will also give a detrimental effect to the organisms. Okay, last one. Okay. Um, Ruby May. Yes, sir. Okay. What are the effects of only one? <laughs> so the effects for the changes in the biotic factors in the system is so especially in light. Yes, um, the light. In water, in air rather. Red so air. The, the nitrogen will be affected in our air uh, pollution. Okay, thank you. So what you are going to want to mention is there is an increase of nitrogen in the atmosphere, yeah. which is only we have only we only need a 78 percent of uh, nitrogen. If there is an increase of nitrogen in the air, what will happen? There will be an increase of nitric acid in the air, and it will cause it acid rain. rain. Yeah. Okay. So I get your point. So for your higher higher order thinking skills right now, in your in your state, you are going to answer this. Two questions. So this is related, but I have given a specific scenario. So number one. Number one, the main abiotic factor that causes a drought, and, that causes drought and forest wildfires is the high, high, uh, high in, uh, the high level in the temperature. Yes, the high level of temperature. Okay, that's one. Okay, and also there is a high level of temperature. What's the cause of the high level of temperature? Men? Global warming. What is the cause of global warming? Bakit umiinit ang mundo? Wala lang trip niya nang maginit. Or because... So you are going to mention the animal or the, uh, the organism and the biologic factor. Just like in the example. Soil naman? Water dito iya. Yeah. How about the others? There's still the number one. Okay, by the way, I, was, I forget to mention the criteria for this. Uh, this is the rubric for your answer. Okay, that is also attached to the video. Okay, and this is the rubric for 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 the rubric Okay, time is up. Okay, both hands down. Both hands down. We're already overusing this. What is the importance of abiotic factors in maintaining the balance? Balance in the balance. What is the importance of balance? Balance in the balance. 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 Balance uh, it has water, so it's um, also to know as COVID-19 is water droplets, right? Okay, yeah. that's also, also, yes. Water droplets from yes. the saliva of a certain person, okay. 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 Yes, you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so water from the saliva. Um, and also, how is being transmitted? As right. what kind of medium? Okay. COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2. Okay, so paano kung masira yung mga habitat ng mga plants, di ba? What do you think will happen in finding the medicine in the uh, first of two? <laughs> yes, you man! You don't have any answer. Okay, Maria Socorro. You are going to answer. 